Hey guys, Cut Samaritz here. I want to say a huge shout out to Nart, the best coach in Nellis ever. And I also want to thank him for making these great YouTube videos. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. Nart out here with a new CSGO Pro Tricks video. Before I show some cool tricks, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. The first trick comes from Furia, who does the yellow scaffold boost. This isn't a new boost, however, the way they boost onto top yellow is new. This is the second time they've used this boost in an official. The first time was against 100 Thieves. I made a video on it. Go check it out. Yuri's gonna be the player being boosted, however, Gambit must have did their homework because Nathanie's gonna watch for the boost while he makes his way up ramp. He can see Yuri through the gaps in the scaffold, which makes him shoot, however, Yuri gets a better exchange, but is unable to fall back. In my previous trick video, NIP were on an eco on their CT side, attempted the triple boost long A on overpass, but it was cut short due to the enemy team coming out long. We didn't get to see the full effect of it. Well, here against FaZe Clan, NIP are able to pull off the triple boost on their eco, and Rez will find a kill onto Brokey coming out to mid. Heroic on overpass after losing piss around on their T side, has Kadian throwing a decoy towards heaven, making it appear initially that Heroic are doing some type of execute towards B, hoping to pull and or to hold rotations while they run A. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out, but nonetheless, good idea. MBK on Mirage will jump spot apartments initially side to side to see if anyone is down the hall. He doesn't see anyone and he will change his jump spotting technique to spot the crack. The problem with this jump spot is that you can get timing, as in when you land there is a chance the enemy can cross before you jump back up to spot the crack. Plopsky from NIP pulls out the same jump spot as MBK. He uses it in the pistol round. Plopsky spots a player and gets blind van. He kills Dodo and finds the last kill in the stappy. The other issue with this jump spot compared to the moving one is that it won't allow you to be as mobile to get away towards bench, so you'll be stuck close. Next up, Colzera smokes stairs from T-Spawn. He positions himself in the corner towards Palace, aims above the right vertical mark, then jump throw. Kerrigan throws a standard cross smoke. Face Clan will attempt to run up Catwalk to B with the cover of the A smokes while sending Kerrigan to fake A to pull the mid player, but it doesn't go as planned. OG play retake A and Kerrigan is able to get out ramp uncontested. He tries sneaking through the cross smoke, however Valde gets the better of him and the strat falls apart from here. Hunter with a CT one-way smoke on the A side on Inferno. He is crouched in position below the cold Zera box. He aims at this particular brick, then left click throw. Hunter looks towards Pit and kills Tizian. He jumps onto cold and gets spammed through the wall by Tapson. I'm not going to show Hunter's rest of the POV here. Let's take a look at some of the other players' POVs. Omnic is also in sight and he can spot anyone lane crossing. From Big Clan's view, this is what the smoke would look like. Unfortunately, I would show you Tizian's POV but he gets so blind that from his POV, we wouldn't be able to see anything. Lastly, from this clip, I want to show the wall bang onto Hunter. As most of you already know, this wall you can shoot through, which taps and does a couple of times to kill Hunter. Nico with early flashes onto alt mid to allow Omnic to peek out window, which nets him two kills. The CT window peek towards alt mid is more commonly done when the opposing team are on eco or low force buy, as they won't have superior weapons for long range, as well as nades towards window. Jaymon Dust 2 has a set window molly from tunnels. He positions himself with the right entrance wall, aims at the ground below Tetris, then jump throw. This molly covers a lot of the area outside window. Simple with a nasty wall bang onto Yekinder before he even crosses double doors on Dust 2. This is some type of cheating matchmaking play you would see. I pause a moment before he shoots to show you where he's aiming at and it appears to be around the middle of the door crust. Rudder's Pro are on Eco CT side train. Kicket rushes into Pop Dog and he goes up the ladder. He whiffs the Zeus onto a crouch flaming and is able to make his way back down Pop Dog without anything happening to him. It's a very similar play to Boomich did a while back. Masuta on Dust 2 is gonna smoke long a corner from Lower B tunnels. He crouches and positions himself in the middle of these tiles. While crouched, aims below these antennas, then jump throw. Vitality uses his smoke mid round to take long a control. Do you want to see this nade set combo that Issa throws on Dust 2, where he throws a Lurk Smoke and Molly from one position? I'll have this alongside many other trick clips that did not make this video, only exclusive to my Discord members. The invite link is in the description box or comment section. Alexi B on Nuke smokes Mini from Vents. While on the vent ladder, he aims above the yellow sticker, then left click throw. I covered a video on how OG uses this smoke, which you can check out here. Keserato is going to nade barrels from outside Monster. He gets on the stairs, positions himself with the railing, then aims above the short pipe, takes a couple steps and jump throw. 
Nat from Team Liquid also throws the same nade, however he needs to take one or two more steps for his nade to do more damage. Stown on T-side train is going to smoke inside connector towards B. He positions himself with this part of the train, then aims at this box, runs two steps and then jump throw. Heroic uses this smoke to fake a B rush early on alongside sending one player towards halls to throw nades and show presence, then they send three players out t con and one pop. Alexa B is going to molly porch and it's a molly that I've been seeing a lot recently to help take mid control. It's perfect to clear anyone under porch and you're going to start seeing this molly more in the pro scene because teams want to clear that area due to the popularity of CT setups that fight for mid. Alexa B's molly takes a little bit of time to spread to get the corner. I have a better lineup. Do you see these antennas? Well, use the roof to cover them and once you do, you'll aim a little bit to the left of this white mark. Walk two steps, then jump throw. The molly I throw instantly covers the corner and will burn that player and or force the smoke to come out to extinguish it. There's a new meta on T-Side Dust 2 where teams are having one rifler shoot the cross while the offer is holding doors as well. There's no really trick to this, honestly it's all RNG. In the Alexa P and Glaive clip they start shooting at 143 and Nav starts shooting at 152. Poison has the best miss spawn and he's gonna go for an aggressive mid ramp pick. When he jumps out of a window, he bounces a smoke off the left wall before advancing. The smoke will give him cover to fall back after he gets the kill and the steal. From Smoothie's POV, he is confused about the smoke and you can tell he's never seen it before and doesn't know where to look. On Mirage, you've probably seen the boost of Molly Triple on and A exec, but have you ever seen this boost by Movie Stars and Molly Default? This is new to me. JK has his default and he's gonna get flash and burn, and Mopez kills him. Steel is the one throwing the molly, and he gets on Smoothie's head. Both players are standing, Steel is going to aim here and then jump throw. I'm curious if this is a molotov to counter complexity, or if default is strong to molly for an A execute. Adren smokes Xbox from long A on Dust 2 by positioning himself in the barrel corner while standing, aims to the left of the last strand of the plant, then jump throw. Floppy the B anchor on Dust2 has a flash for CT mid from standing on the box back site. He aims out the window above the dark thing sticking out, then left click throw. C9 have players on each side peeking afterwards. After K23 gets short control, moves boosted around the corner holding for any reaggression from C9. Lord and behold SC tag comes around the corner and Moo kills him. On the same topic of K23 Dust2 and short A, Adren will get run boosted around the corner after flashing. This run boost will allow him to chase down the opera who's holding ledge. When Adren was on FaZe Clan, they used to run this with Nico being the top player. On Vertigo, you can shoot through the default box with an op on A site, which SE Tag does here, killing Neelan. There's not really a lineup if you're smoked out. SE Tag shoots randomly and lands the shots. Rush is gonna smoke Top Con from T spawn. You can see he had the wrong position in the beginning, and then he goes to the right of the trash can, even after with the correct positioning. Rush still had a hard time figuring out the correct lineup in which he eventually got. To throw the smoke, you position yourself to the right of the trash can standing, then aim at the right corner of the white frame, then you'll crouch and move forward while you hit the point here, then jump throw. Alex has a nice and easy way to re-smoke Ivy on Vertigo. He stands where you would throw the ramp one way smoke. He's gonna aim above this great beam, then jump throw. Searson's gonna peak connector with an off angle by boosting the taps in his head. He doesn't see anyone, then he gets run boosted over into mid. Searson and taps in display really good coordination and teamwork here. Let's just go ahead and sit back and admire the great teamwork here by Big Clan. Rob's bringing back the days when he was coming onto the scene playing FBL with this wall bang through the floor onto Spink's pop dog. Granted, it only does 3 damage, but honestly, this is such a nasty wall bang by Rob's. This wall bang is for any CTs holding towards the middle of pop. Alu on CT side train is gonna get boosted onto the bomb train to allow him to peek into t -Con. He won't spot anyone or get a kill, but still, nice idea. After so many hours spent in CSGO, I never knew this was an angle held by Snappy as spools to hold upper. While he is doing so, Alu's gonna watch his ramp. Snappy can turn around and help if need be. There's a new one-way smoke on Vertigo at B stairs. Mouse sports are throwing on their T side. 
This smoke is towards the top of the stairs which works out better than the other one because it allows your team to get closer onto site behind the cover of the smoke to maximize the flash duration and to get an early jump onto the CTs. Acor is the one throwing the smoke and he's going to throw it onto the top plank with an underhand throw. I'll show you how to do so in a bit here. To throw the smoke, position yourself under this white dot, then aim in between these two white dots and right click underhand throw. Snappy is going to smoke connector towards mid from top platform and T-spawn. He crouches and aligns himself with his beam, then aims at the wall to the bottom left of this vent, also to the left of the line. While he is crouched, take two steps forward and jump throw. Make sure the windows are broken beforehand as well. This is a very sensitive smoke. Make sure you practice this one as I've seen many pros miss it. Ence uses this smoke to go mid to B on their T-pistol. Apex throws the same smoke with a different position in lineup. He uses the same beam, however he's going to position himself to the left of the beam and he aims to the left of the line on the vent, takes a couple of steps and jump throw, all while being crouched. Acor initially tries to peek ramp with an op, however he gets smoked out. Then he's going to jump onto the ramp sandbag to peek over the smoke, however Diha will spot him and kill him. Here's Diha's POV without x-ray. It is really hard to spot Acor, just a little bit of his head is sticking out. Well played Diha. Diha smokes top mid on Inferno by positioning himself with the wood block, then he's gonna aim to the top right of this square and jump throw. Jax with a fake molly sound cue bait to allow him and Hunter to push apartments. He throws a molly off the top wall, which will bounce back and won't burn them. Jax is able to kill Rez from behind, while Hunter pushes into T apartments and flanks. ZTR who is the default apartment player for NIP, hears the molly and thinks nothing of it and is the standard molly CT throw at the beginning round. Very nice play by Jax and G2. Here's another bait from G2, this time from Omnek. He's gonna smoke to his right making it appear that G2 smoked off apartment and then it's clear for NIP to peek calls. Omnek's gonna hold with an op and he's gonna kill Popski then falls back. Hunter smokes top mid from CT spawn by positioning himself with the bench, aims at the top right of this square on the wall, then jump throw. I've got a video on my discord server explaining how G2 uses the smoke. The next trick comes from Rain into the position play. Rain loves to cross to behind top boxes on mid on Mirage. Then he jumps onto the wheel, however in this round the molly comes in and forces him to get on top of the boxes and he uses the cover of the top mid smoke to kill the window player Zaibu and also hits a nice shot into Apex connector. I have another example here of another round of Rain doing the same thing except this time no molly and he jumps onto the wheel and kills Apex window. Apex in CT spawn is gonna smoke top mid ramp to allow his teammates to cross to take control of the top boxes. He positions himself with the corner of the wall then aims at the right of the vent in the middle and jump throw. Be careful as the smoke does leave a small gap to the right. Apex is going to smoke top CT spawn boxes from catwalk by positioning himself with this wall, aims above this wood and then jump throw. Pair this smoke up with the mid to B smoke and a molly for the boost and you have yourself a good set to split B. FaZe Clan's retaking the B bomb sign in Dust 2 and Twist is going to ask for a boost to peek over a door to spot Big Box, however he isn't going to spot anyone. What is Rain doing crossing while Twist is spraying the door? Rez with a self flash to peek door on Nuke, he is crouched near Tetris with some space in between him and Tetris so the flash won't hit it. He crouches, aims below the yellow line, and left click throw. Rez will peek after the flash blooms however it doesn't spot anybody. Here's what the flash looks like from door. Kozera smokes a refrigerator in kitchen on Mirage by getting in that corner and then he'll underhand the throw. This smoke blocks vision from anyone pushed up short and is used for a b-pop which I covered in this Navi video. Kozera and FaZe Clan are in a pinch on the A bomb site of Mirage. Cole picks up a smoke from a dead body and he throws it off default. Twist plants and Cole jumps on top of Firebox and he uses the smoke as a one way to kill Dexter Ticket and Frozen Jungle. Great play by Cold. Acor is going to show us two neat lineups here. First he shows us how to smoke default Inferno by positioning himself with the end of the wall where you would smoke Moto. Aim at the top right of the square and jump throw. 
Then he gets under porch and he will molly mini pit. This molly is very risky since you're out in the open and it takes some time to throw. In this round it's useful to flush out cold but I don't see it being used in future play due to the cons. Cold's gonna smoke bottom banana by hugging the CT wall and he aims in the middle between the window and door then jump throw. This smoke is very forgiving so the position doesn't have to be exact whether that be with the positioning or the lineup. FaZe will use this smoke to help get banana control. Brokey smokes top corner of banana from outside T-spawn by positioning himself in the barrel, aimed at the bottom right of the chimney on the paint mark, then jump throw. FaZe uses this smoke to help get banana control on their T-side. It's going to lock out two of the mouse sports players and Frozen gets stuck on an island. Another team that I've seen that uses this smoke is Complexity. Zaiwu has a flash for apartments to blind any offers holding from balcony or van. It lands on the sofa and blinds Omnak, who had no chance to react to it. Omnak's going to fall back but gets hunted down. To throw this flash, Zaiwu gets on the underpass stairs. He looks for the light, and once he sees the light, he will aim above the doorway, takes one step and left click throw. It's a forgiving flash as long as your crosshair is to the right of this wood. Make sure you don't hit the wood. Kerrigan's going to boost Cold in anticipation that Bank is being smoked off. He is behind the truck crouch. Cold gets on top and crouches so NIP doesn't spot him. NIP XQA and Cold flashes to his right before staying up and he kills Doc. From Nox POV he gets semi flash and he doesn't expect that angle and gets killed. Nock with a nice molly to clear towards the back of T-Con on train. Coming out of connector Nock positions himself with the wall, aims at this part of the wheel shown here and he runs for it until he hits this yellow part and jump throw. Brokey has a nice night set to help stop the T-Con push. He's gonna molly sandwich and all off by getting onto the corner of this wall, aimed at the bottom left of the train here, then jump throw. Then he moves up to the same wall and then positions himself here, and aims at the boost and left click throw. This is a sensitive smoke so you might want to find your own lineup. Team Liquid are in a 2v2 retake and Fallen has a 200 IQ play by shooting his AK, then dropping and picking up an AUG and shooting that gun as well making it appear that both Liquid players are outside B. Zifnix, who was backside, originally holding tunnels, hears the two different guns and gives up watching tunnels thinking both players are outside B and Grim comes from tunnels and kills him. Hobbit's gonna bay Electronic and draw his attention by jump spotting Monster while the rest of his team flanks him from behind and they sandwich him. The last trick comes from Device who attempts to pull the simple but through the door dropping his op and then going in after. The thought process behind this is that the drop gun could maybe resemble a model and cause Nath to shoot, however he won't fall for it, but he does miss his shots and Device kills him. That's the end of the video so please give the video a like and subscribe. I work really hard to gather all these clips and put them together. I appreciate all the support. Till next time, Nard out here, peace.